is the most rated racing car game in Roblox. And we're also gonna play on this game that's rated 87%, a 55% rated game, and much more. But before that, we're gonna be starting with the worst rated one, which has a 52% rated. And when you first join, this is the main menu. You see, th this I think is absolutely beautiful. We do have three different track options, which is decent. And we have Sakir, Jeddah, and Hockenheim. Here we are in the game, which doesn't look too bad. But let's see the car. So when you click spawn, you can choose what cars you want. Currently, there's only the 2022 cars. I think I'm gonna be using Mercedes for this track. We have the Silver Arrows Mercedes. And when you try to spawn a car, it asks you to choose a garage. There you go. It has a picture of me, the logo of the team I choose, and my username. And it even has arrow setups. Let's go with like seven, five. And here is our car, Mercedes number 33. You can see these car models are somewhat blocky, but they do look nice, very well made. You can see they use the real life sponsors. Uh, number 33 on the Mercedes, not cursed at all. They also don't have a halo, which is interesting. But as you can see, it is tank chassis. So tank chassis is when the tires don't actually turn, but rather they rotate as they would in a tank. But something I don't like about these cars is like their top speed is so easily reachable and like it says I'm going 300 kilometers per hour. It does not feel like 300 kilometers per hour. It feels like I'm going 90 kilometers per hour. Bro, I just crashed at the final corner. Did I just do a Latifi? Next up, we have RAA Formula Racing. This game has a 55% rating, which is about 3% better than the previous game. But we're gonna be checking out if it is actually better or worse. Oh, we do have tracks. Okay, so these are fictional tracks. How many tracks do we have? One, two, three, four, five tracks in this game. And this just, it, it said this was the Sydney circuit, but this does look like Melbourne. We're not gonna know until we drive it though. Oh my God, this car is so long. What's going on? I do like the livery. The black and the red do look nice, but why is this car so freaking long? Why does this side pod look like that? And oh, look how tiny I am inside of this car. I feel like Yuki Tsunoda right now, but at least this game is not tank chassis. And oh my God, look at the tire smoke. Oh, this is not the Melbourne layout. Oh, okay, okay. It just looks similar, but it's, yeah, this is a fictional layout that is somewhat similar to Mer Melbourne. In terms of scenery though, the scenery on this track is nothing like the one we saw earlier, but it is super good. You can see there's a lot of trees, there's bridges, there's cranes for cameras and cranes for repairs. I also like how the car handles. Like the car might look goofy because it does look goofy, but overall, I think this game is slightly better because of the car handling. It definitely does not deserve a 55% rating. If I had to give this game a rating, I would honestly give it like a 77, maybe a 78% rating. It does require some work, but I would say they've done a great job already. And next up, we have Formula Roblox. This game has an 82% rating, but it must be the most polished game so far. This is one of the oldest F1 games on Roblox. And as you can see, it has a daily quest. It also has different game modes like Unranked and Time Trial. It has a track voting system, similar to Call of Duty map voting. It has levels and obviously a coin or money system. And you can use that Money to either buy different cars which have different stats or you can buy liveries and loot crates to get different skins in terms of the cars though you can see the models are not too special they are so much blocky but they are gonna be adding mesh cars soon maybe this summer which i am excited about and considering this is one of the oldest roblox f1 games it's impressive how well polished it is all the tracks are fictional however there are no real life f1 tracks but the the most unique feature this game has is its handling. The cars are somewhat planted to the ground, like you don't hit bumps or any of that, and there is no oversteer in the cars, and the suspension of this car is as stiff as it gets. Another feature this game has added recently is the weather system. You do have a forecast at the bottom right of the screen. Another advanced feature this game has had since forever is the delta system on the top right of the screen. You can see it updates your delta before the sectors like it updates very frequently and it compares to your personal best and considering this game has an 82% rating I mean I don't know what else it can do to get a better rating so yeah I would honestly give this 
game like an 87% rated. No matter your opinion on the last game, things are just gonna get better and better from the next game that's rated 87% all the way to the last game which is the most rated game ever in Roblox. In second place we have Formula Apex or Project Apex. This is easily one of the best Roblox F1 games we have and that's showcased by the 87% rating and the player base of minimum 150 and you can see this absolutely beautiful main menu they recently added but we will check out the dealership first this is one of the most unique and well-made features of this game you can buy any car generation that the dealership has to offer these are hands down the best car models on roblox f1 but the coolest part is that you can upgrade this alpha tower and a lot of these upgrades are visible we can upgrade our four floor strikes twice actually so the first time we increase downforce they look a little bit trimmed a little bit better we upgrade them again they look completely different i'm pretty sure we're using completely different carbon fiber now and they look so sick we have a lot of real life tracks but we also have a couple of fictional tracks like winford so here we are in the practice mode you can see the menus are super beautiful super well made and the car models look sick the camera looks fine there's pit stops we can go into the soft right here you have drs you have ers you have hands on the steering wheel you have tire compounds you have pit stops there's no weather yet though you have car damage you can see if i pull up my mfd yep there you go i don't have a front wing you can also lose your rear wing your tires in this game but this game is super well made i mean have i talked about the tracks yet look at this track like this game's tracks are the best looking which i honestly don't think this game deserves an 87 percent racing i mean it needs to be at least in the 90s i would honestly give it like a 92 percent minimum and for the best rated game the best of the best the top of the top ion formula race in 2023 this game has an 88 percent rating only one percent better but currently it has a hundred more players and i mean i don't even know if i should consider this game a formula one game this game has all sorts of cars of course it has all the f1 cars from 2020 all the way to 2023 it has cards and it has wet cars or endurance cars although the 2023 f1 cars are very well made i really like them you can see how many cars i own in this game it's an absolute mess and when you choose the car you want to drive it asks for your front and rear downforce so you actually have aero setups in this game and you can change like the degree of your wings the higher downforce you have the more grip you're gonna get but also the more drag you have ers you have drs i mean there's a region mode all the tracks in this game are fictional and these cars are actually so satisfying to the right obviously the game also has damage and for some reason when you do get damage you just fly somewhere i'm in a vip server right now the vip server system in this game is literally the best you can change weather tracks cars car performance you can turn off auto repair you can choose how many laps you want you can start or stop a race you can choose how long a session is turn off fuel turn off tire work turn off cut strictness turn off damage you can change anything you want you can even spawn a safety car but yeah considering how many features how many cars how many tracks and how much stuff this game has it does not deserve 88 i would honestly give this game a 99.99 percent .99 rating and the reason i'm not giving it a hundred is because of the bugs that are still in the game but let me know what you guys would rate all of these games and which one is your favorite shout out to all the members of the channel for supporting the channel and helping making these videos come to life if you would like to support the channel and have your name on the end of the screen of the videos please consider joining the channel membership and hitting the subscribe button thank you for watching and goodbye